Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 11 of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we added search to our job board. In this part I'm going to make it possible to edit jobs and only show available jobs on the front page and in search results. So the first thing I need to do is to change the job model a little bit. So we already have size choices but we need status choices as well. So I want to add an active variable, employed, this is if a position is taken, it might be the wrong word, my English isn't very good, but hopefully you understand, archived, this is if the job isn't taken and just the employer want to take it away, archived, then I need to make it Choices, status, tuple, active, label, employed, employed, and archived. Then I need to add it below here. Status equals models dot char field. Max length can be 20. Choices is choices status and default can be active. Since this is default, we don't have to worry about this when we add new jobs. It will just be automatically set to active. Then I need to go to the command line and update the database. Python manage.py make migrations and Python manage.py migrate. Then I can run the server again so I have it in the background. Next step is to create a template for editing the jobs. I can make a copy of edit job. New file, Just save it as editjob.html. Then I need to change a few things here. I can begin with the title, edit job, and the ID here. This is also used below the bottom in the Vue.js script. So we fix it there as well. Then I can replace edit job there with this one. Instead of saying submit, I can say save changes. And then many of these fields has value. So the title I want to add using Vue.js and the same with short description. But the long description, I need to check if the job has the long description. If job dot long description then I can print it there, job.long description and close the if and if. So I can copy this because I need it for yeah, company name. I will also add using view, but company address, value, this is a little bit different, Com company address, company address. So then I can copy all of this with, with value since this is an input field. I want this for the zip code. Zip code and zip code. And the same with company place. Place and the country. Like that, company size is also added using view. So if I just go down here into title, I want to show job.title here. And I can add the same with job.company name, job.short description, and job.company size. And save. Actually, I want one more field up here. I can make a copy of this field because it's going to be a select field. And this is already you can change the status. So change the label to status, name, status, and this is not going to be a view model. The default value can be active and I want the employed a second choice and archived. I can just remove these two. 
archived, employed, and active. And then I need to check which status the job has. If job.status equals active, then I need to set this to selected. And then and if. And I can copy this for the other two. Employed and archived. Sorry, archived. Like that. So now we have the template. Next step is to create a view. So I can go into views.py in the job app. And I can just copy the add job view like this. Rename it to edit job. I can use this form because I have the same fields. But I need to replace this with edit job. And on top here, I need to get job ID because we need to append the data from the job into the form. And to get the job, I can just say job equals get object or 404 because in the job model primary key is job ID and created by equals request dot user so we can't edit other people's jobs and I think I need to import this because I don't think I have it no it's a shortcut from Django so you can just paste it behind the render and redirect and I can scroll down again and to pass it in here, I can say instance equals job. And the same goes with down here. Since I'm also going to use the job in the front end, I can append it here to this dictionary. And save. So now we have both form and job available to use in the template. So we're soon ready to test now. We just need to import this view to this URLs. Edit job. Can I copy this? Edit, edit job, edit job, and save. So then I want to go into the view dashboard job.html file, and below the title here, I want to add a link to the edit page. A H R E F URL edit job which is the name of the view and then I pass in job.id class button is success and I want a little bit space below this so I say mb4 which is margin bottom 4 and just add edit as the title so if I now go back to chrome and I can go to dashboard I can go to one of my jobs, for example, job title. I now have an edit button here. Okay, I see at the bottom of the screen that I've done something wrong with this one. Yes, I forgot to close the expression. Refresh. And now I can click it. And here you can see the fields I have are already filled in. Perfect. And I can change this to changed. So we just see that everything is working. Save changes. So now the title is the job title dash changed. Perfect. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. Out here, I want to show the status. So if I go back to dashboard and here where I list out the jobs, I can say parentheses job dot get status display. This is built in function from Django which gives me the value of the, of the model of this. So get status display will give me this. So if I refresh now, we'll see that every job is active. Perfect. If I go to the front page, you will see that we see this job title changed as first job, but I can change this and set it to employed. It will still show on the front page and that is what we are going to fix now. So if I go to, oops, so if I just go to core slash views.py, 
here instead of saying this I can say filter status equals job dot active this will just give us the active jobs so if I refresh now okay yes sorry I forgot to do one thing inside the views dot pi in the job since the status isn't a part of the form we need to do this manually so in here where we edit the job and here instead of say job dot created by because we already know this we can say status equals request dot post dot get status because we get this from the form and save so sorry if i now go back here try to edit the job change status to employed save changes now it says employed here as well and we don't get it here anymore so then i can go back to views.py in the core folder because i want to do this with the search as well and then i can just copy this and go into api.py in the job app and append it at the beginning there and save so if i now try to save for search for title i don't get it below here perfect but if I search anything else, I get the available jobs. And if I try to go into the job, for example, this job one, you can see that I see apply for job. And I only want to show this when the job is available. So if I just go to job detail, here I can see if job.status equals active, then I can see this apply button else and if and there I can say P, this job sorry this job is not available anymore and save maybe we should also show the status up here so we can say job dot get status display and save and this is now active okay there is something wrong there yes sorry like that but there we saw that it was working perfect so we can just add an HR here to separate this a little bit as well so now everything seems to be working with the apply for job and active and everything perfect and that was it for this part of the series if you liked it, please click like below and share it with your friends. If you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well. See you next time.